hello welcome back to my youtube channel i'm super excited to have you here again so today we're going to be discussing customer success customer relationship customer support and customer experience what are their differences what are the similarities please stay connected and don't forget to like subscribe and share this content welcome back um i know i mentioned earlier that we're going to be discussing what customer success is what customer support is what customer relationship management is and customer experience so just to point out that these keywords are independent fine they can have some cool similarities but they are not the same and i want you to understand that now let's go into customer success everybody most of us have been seeing the word customer success flying around and you're probably wondering what is this word some of us are new to it some of us already know some things about it but you still don't maybe um have full understanding of what it is because there are lots of information out there i just also want to mention that customer success is about two decades now it was introduced like two decades now and one thing to know is that according to me because people have different definition to different things but so according to me i would say that it's related to loyalty mm -hmm. so it means that um if you're thinking about customer success you're also thinking about loyalty meaning you're trying to build you're trying to acquire and you're trying to maintain loyal customers it's a different scenario if you have customers but how many of your customers are really loyal to your products and this is where customer success comes in. How many of them are really ready to come back to become a returning customer, to buy more and more products, or even refer you to their friends? If I'm not loyal to you, then there is no point buying your products. If I'm not loyal to you, then there is no point buying more and more. And as well, if I'm not loyal to you, then I might not be able to refer you to other businesses or other, other friends or colleagues to come and buy your products. So if you're thinking about customer success, you think about it in this line. And before I become loyal to you, there are some groundwork that you must have done to make sure that I get success or I achieve success using your products and services. Just to mention again, in case you're a business person and you're still wondering, but I have somebody that picks and receives calls. Why do I need customer success? I'm going to give you three things why you should look into customer success. And the first thing is reduces churn. So I know you're probably wondering what is churn. Of course, a word that we use mostly in customer success. And if you're thinking about churn, is churn is when something is leaving you. It could be when people are leaving your business or when revenue is leaving your business. We have different type of churn. So customer success will help you reduce churn in your business. And when you reduce churn in your business, it means that you're going to have a lot of um, returning customers. You're going to improve your customer retention. And that is what customer success does to you as a business person. The second thing I would mention, customer success would help you improve your customer experience. And you're wondering, okay, so what is the meaning of this? If I have good experience with your products, there's a possibility that I would adopt your product. Adoption means that, okay, if it is not brand A, I'm not wearing any other brand. So that is what is called adoption. People will adopt your product because they have good experience with it. Now, imagine if I don't have good experience with your products, what would happen? Then it means that easily you have competitors. Note that. And then it's going to be easier for me to go to your competitors to buy their products. So I am unable to adopt your products if I am not having good experience with your product. Under um, improved experience, improved customer experience is referral. If I'm using your products, I can easily call my friend to say, Hey, you're interested in buying this? Of course, I know a company that can give you a very good deal. The experience is top-notch, this, this, and that. And I'm able to bring another person to your business. 
So imagine you already have, let's say, a customer base of 500 customers and you've given them good experiences. No matter how bad it, it can be, you would have about 50 of them that would be willing to refer their families and friends to your business to patronate, to patronize you, to buy something from you. And they'll be proud of it because you have not disappointed them. So they don't see any reason why they shouldn't um, refer you to their families and friends. Lastly, under this one is brand awareness. Right now, social media is, um, it has a lot, there's a lot of art on social media. But even as much as companies run ads, sometimes it can be really difficult for people to trust them. And as much as companies run ads on social media, some people still don't know about them. So when it comes to brand awareness, if your customers have good experiences with your brand, you don't need to tell them. They would refer you. They will advocate for your business. Word of mouth goes a long way. And people they tell, even if they don't come to buy things from you, even if they don't come to buy your product, they already heard about you. They've gone on Google, they've searched out for your name and they know what you do. And even those people, if they don't buy, they also have people that might eventually need your product. And then they can say, oh, I've heard about this company. Though I've not gotten anything from them, but their reviews are very good. Do you mind? me sending you their link so that you can patronize them now imagine what good customer experience has done for your brand from point a customer a told customer b about you even though customer b is yet to patronize you like is your potential customer customer b that is yet to buy your products is still able to refer you to customer c that has never heard about you before but needs your products so if you're a business person, I think by now you should understand the reason why you should think about customer success. Lastly, customer success will help you get more revenue. So take for instance, I am your customer. I am happy about your products. And you know that I'm going to need um, a product that is related to something I'm interested in. Not like I'm really interested in these products, but you just feel like, oh, I think this is going to be good for you. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I trust your judgment. Let me have it. What have you done? I am buying product A from you, but you've also successfully cross-sold product B to me. And because I trust you, I understand that you cannot give me fake. So I am putting more money into your business. Or for example, you have a product that sells for, let's say, $100. And there is another one at slightly higher price for $150. But I've been stuck to the one of $100 for a couple of weeks or even months. And then you walked up to me like, oh, I know that you're really fantastic. You're doing great using this product or using this feature for at $100. But I think that if you spend a little bit higher, let's say you just add $50 to your experience, these are the things that you also get to enjoy with a product or service. So you've been able to tell me this because you know that I've had good experience with your products. Imagine if I have not had good experience, even you will be shy to walk up to me to tell me to buy higher because even when I'm paying $100 with you, I am not getting much value from it. So it's easier for you to walk up to your customer, to sell more to that customer because you know they are enjoying your product. And that's to say that customer success cannot, please mark this word, customer success, they cannot fix your products. It means that they cannot, if your product does not have good market fit, then there is only little that customer success manager can do. So before you are able to successfully implement customer success in your organization to help you reduce churn, to help you improve your customer experience, and also to help you get more revenue, then your product must have good market fit and must speak to the needs of the user. And this is where your ideal customer profile comes in. So 
if you're looking into customer success, be sure that you have ideal customer profiles and your products speak directly to them. Now you know the advantages as a business person, why you should look into customer success. Going into customer support, I would say personally that customer support is more of a break and fix model because you do reach out to customers or customers reach out to you rather at the point when they need something from you maybe at the point where they are trying to implement some changes in their business and they discover that some features are not working or they've tried to log into your app and they're unable to log in or they try to make order but their order gets bounced so at those points the first thing that comes to their head is okay they should have a customer support channel that i can reach and then they chat to you or they call you or they send you an email that is customer support so if you're looking at customer support just understand that it's a break and fix method unlike customer success it is not focused on revenue generation and now this takes me to the difference between customer support and customer success customer support is not focused on revenue generation in fact it is a cost center for your business because you needed to put customer support in place so that it's easier for your customers to reach you at every point in time when they need to and they get their issues attended to but does it mean that customer success does not also deal with issues of course we do but the kind of issues we deal with they are more proactive we have more proactive ways of dealing with issues in the sense that i reach out to a customer maybe a b2b customer in this sense and i want to learn how they've been using our product i want to understand what their use case is and during the course of the conversation i identify the gap or maybe there's a knowledge gap we need to train this customer to understand what this product can do find they've been using the product but they are not using it in a typical way or they are not using it in an intended way so it's my job as a customer success person to identify that gap they do, i don't really need to wait for them until something breaks before i tell them oh i think that you need this and then i'm like okay can we transfer you to the product training session i have a conversation with the product person product trainer and they get them trained that is customer success i am being proactive customer support is reactive because i have to wait and let the customer reach out to me it is when they, they need something to get fixed that they reach out to me that's the second difference between customer success and customer support remember the first difference is gen revenue generation for customer success they help you get more money into your business by having conversation and helping you sell more customer support it's a necessity for your business of course and they are a cost center customer success it's more of a long-term thing you know I am reaching out to a customer I'm talking to the customer identifying the gaps how have they been using our products are there other things that we can do for them so that is long term I'm trying to build a long term relationship but for customer support it is short term you reach out to me I fix your issues and that's all it ends there lastly for the difference customer success is more re it's relationship based and customer support is transactional based my previous explanation is also applicable here i'm building good relationship with you but for customer support i handle your issues and we're done the similarities between customer support and customer success number one both of them need to have good understanding of products I need to know what my product can do and what it cannot do. I need to know other features, the main features so that I can understand how to upsell to a customer 
and as from the customer customer support perspective so that i can understand how to help them fix issues when they reach out to me then again another important thing is you need to have good customer facing skills if you want to fit into both scenarios i must be patient i must have good communication skills both written and oral communication it's really important for these two people so just are the similarities there are other similarities but just for the purpose of this video i'm going to mention two i will drop other similarities in the um comment section then going to customer experience if you're talking about customer experience it's the overall experience your customer gets from using your products from the point of sales down to customer support down to customer success at every touch point everybody or every rep they come in contact with that works in your business even your products all the experience together is called customer experience it's a journey and that is customer experience then lastly we are talking about customer relationship management and this is where a lot of us we we try to mix it up so crm is more of a platform based you know the, the way you use salesforce upsport zendesk microsoft's um dynamics those are crm it's a platform based it is not individualized so as an individual i cannot be a customer relationship manager so crm is the sales force you use to email your customers to chat with them to um to send them emails or even to receive calls with them those are your crm so instead of saying somebody is a customer relationship manager that word is really vague you could say that your customer success manager if their roles and responsibilities fall under the highlight of customer success then you can call them customer success manager if their roles and responsibility is just pick calls live chats emails phone calls then you know that you are a customer support manager or customer support agent so i hope that i've been able to clarify all these things for you and lastly you're still wondering do i have a career path being a customer su success manager or can i transition from being a customer support agent into customer success of course you can and there are a lot of benefits because if you're a customer success person you don't have the same challenges every day you have different challenges to do with and it helps you think faster it builds you you're able to grow faster and you're able to have proactive thoughts which can also creep into your daily activity normal lifestyle because you become better at things you do so there's a career path for you and there are ways at which you can transition into customer success if you watched my last video i spoke about how i started my career as a front desk officer and then moved to become a senior customer success manager at a u.s based company it's a process if you're yet to watch the video please go back watch it and upcoming video i'm going to talk about the career paths in customer success as well thank you so much for watching this video um please don't forget to subscribe like and as well share if there is any other content you would like us to bring up to this channel please drop it in the comment section i'll read through it and then we'll talk about it thank you so much